The next technological breakthrough of the century is on its way, and it's going to supercharge what ChatGPT set in motion in 2022. Every major global power has their sights set on this. Let's rewind. Two billion federal dollars into the Manhattan Project created the first nuclear weapons during World War II. $25.4 billion into the Apollo program put Neil Armstrong on the moon. And now, the United States just announced Stargate. 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 $500 billion. $500 billion into AI. If $25 billion can put a man on the moon, what can $500 billion do? Open AI's next bet, the arrival of AI agents. But to really understand the level of disruption that's coming, let's rewind to a pivotal moment in November 2022 when ChatGPT broke the internet. A tiny web application with a text box in the center and very little guidance. How do you solve this coding problem? Will you replace Google? Are you conscious? Can you fall in love? As a large language model trained by OpenAI, I do not have the ability to experience emotions. The disclaimer didn't matter. People quickly became spooked. And the more spooked they were, the more attention it gained. It took Netflix three and a half years to gain one million users. For Spotify, it took five months. For ChatGPT, it took five days. This wasn't just a technological breakthrough. It was a cultural phenomenon. Overnight, ChatGPT pushed AI into the mainstream in a way that no one had anticipated. The pros were undeniable. ChatGPT was able to help people write emails, summarize documents, and brainstorm creative ideas just as it was intended. To. But the biggest pro of all is that it introduced people to the power of conversational AI. And this was different from anything we've ever experienced before. To talk to a computer and have it respond. That used to be limited to software engineers who would code in just the right language to get the computer to dance the way that they wanted it to. But with text-based large language models becoming mainstream, building and creating became conversational partnership. It was you and ChatGPT and hours of conversations that that were blowing people's minds and breaking the internet. But it wasn't perfect. ChatGPT required human input and a lot of it. Its utility really depended heavily on prompt engineering, which was a niche skill that made it tricky to use effectively at work. And it would hallucinate all the time, giving people incorrect information with an objectivity that was misleading. We didn't fully know what we had back then. The large language model that we had access to, GPT 3.5, that was the biggest and baddest LLM to date. We had no frame of reference for where it would take us. But then, ChatGPT unleashed a seismic shift that would change how we interact with technology altogether. So now it's post ChatGPT, and OpenAI went right back to building just as they'd been doing for the last seven years. Because even though ChatGPT was groundbreaking, it still had limitations. So they created GPT-4, 1.76 trillion parameters. Then GPT-4.0, 200 billion parameters. Then O1, 10 billion parameters. It passes the bar exam. It outperforms first and second year medical students. It detects cancer. These are the past accomplishments of AI, and they've led to mass adoption for the giant tech players like Microsoft and Apple. Things like Apple Intelligence, bringing open AI models into Siri. But just like text-based LLMs, they don't quite dance the way users need them for professional context. Not if you didn't have knowledge of prompt engineering. The closest we've gotten are AI automations, if you have a technical background. Like an automation that creates a content calendar for you creates the content, and then schedules those posts on Instagram at the perfect time. Or an automation that listens to customers as a support chatbot on the bottom right corner of a website. AI automations bring us closer to the concept of a fully autonomous system. But here's the key distinction. Automation is not an agent. So what is an agent? Well, imagine yourself one year from now coming home from a long day of work. Your personal AI agent immediately checks your biometric data and says, hey Mike, you seem stressed. Would you like me to order dinner? Maybe an In-N-Out burger, your favorite comfort food. Perfect. And finally, your agent checks your calendar and seeing that you're free for the rest of the night, it recommends a relaxing evening routine tailored to you. Hyper-personalized, easy, enjoyable. We're already seeing the beginnings of this with OpenAI's operator and other similar tools. Imagine a world where AI agents tailor education based on your specific needs. A student struggling with calculus getting step-by-step -step guidance from an AI agent that adapts to their learning style 
and adjust lessons dynamically. But wait, what is an AI agent? Well, according to Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, AI agents are the next giant breakthrough that's coming, and they're gonna change how we interact with technology forever. Okay, but what is an AI agent? Okay, so the disclaimer is that AI agents are still a transient concept. The definition is currently being defined and created and will continue to evolve over time. But for the purposes of this video, let's talk about the four features that would set AI agents apart from anything else we've seen before. First are the systems. AI agents will be able to integrate with other tools and software, like schedule your meetings for you in your Google Calendar or sending follow-up responses in your emails. Two is autonomy. AI agents will be able to act without needing step-by-step -step input for each task, like booking a flight or doing grocery shopping for you. Third is planning. This is advanced levels of logical reasoning and making decisions based on how the plan unfolds like managing your personal finances or running your daily business operations. And lastly, it retains a human in the loop. In the ideal AI agent world, the human's role is minimal. It's just overseeing and approving the final decision. And just a side note, the human in the loop isn't a weakness, it's a safety feature. And this feature is how humanity will stay relevant. So what are the next steps from here? because the rise of AI agents presents a massive opportunity, but only for those who prepare now. Here's how you can position yourself to thrive in this AI-driven future. For anyone who's been thinking about building a business, creating content, or just making money on your own terms, if you missed the dot-com bubble, if you missed the Bitcoin boom, then AI is the next chance of a lifetime to be early. And this will be a bigger market than any that we've seen because AI agents are the future and you need to start preparing now by gaining AI literacy. As of today, there's GPT-40, O1, and ChatGPT Pro. Do you understand what each is good for? And we've only scratched the surface in this video with OpenAI, but there are other big players competing for market share. Do you know what they're up to? I say this kindly, but urgently. Educate yourself. You can learn about AI through free resources. You can join communities. You can subscribe to our newsletter where we share the most up-to-date info about how AI is impacting creators and businesses and how to take action on it. Because AI literacy will become a golden differentiator and it'll reward people who understand AI tools beyond just basic chat GPT. And for any creatives out there, consider pivoting into roles that specifically rely on creativity, judgment, and human connection, areas that AI can't easily replicate. For example, creating content and building a personal brand will become more important than ever when so much information is artificially mass produced. The concept I'm talking about here is contrast. When so much of the internet is unoriginal and shallow content made of AI summaries and parroting things back and forth, AI is not going away. All the major global players are doubling down on AI. Stargate alone is going to create a hundred thousand American jobs almost instantly. So take a second and ask yourself this. When everything is an automated well-oiled machine, when entire industries are transformed into something alien, what will success look like in this new world? And how can you position yourself to financially succeed? The answer lies in AI literacy. For those of you who are eager to stay ahead, join our free community. There's a free course inside on how to get started using AI for content creation. AI agents aren't just tools. They're the new frontier and the future belongs to those of us who listen to the science. I'll see you inside.